Hello there. In this short and hopefully simple to follow video, I'm going to show you how you can take a Polycom voice over IP phone that is connected through a network wire. How can I convert this to a wireless phone? Well, the way you can do that is you're going to need two things. One is you're going to need an OBAHI wireless adapter. Now, there are other adapters that do this, but this is the one I'm going to show you. These go for about $25 US on your typical big box type websites like you know who. And the other thing you're gonna need if you don't have it is you're gonna need a power adapter for the phone. All right, so you're gonna need, you're gonna need the power adapter that powers the phone because what you might have or probably have is currently you, you're getting power through the network cable. So not only is the network signal, but also the, the power for the phone is coming through the cable. So once we get rid of this and we replace it with the Wi-Fi dongle, um, what's gonna happen is the phone's no longer gonna get power from the network cable, so we're gonna need a power adapter, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna unhook the uh, network cable, which means I'm gonna lose both network and power. All right, and then I'll be right back in a minute after I get the power hooked up and get the phone booted up, and then we'll add the, uh, the Wi-Fi dongle. Okay, we're back. Now the phone has booted back up, and it is connected. It did. It was. It's being powered by a wall adapter now, and but it has no connectivity to the network, so we can't make phone calls if we wanted to. So remember, I talked about this. So inside this little box is a tiny little. They call this a dongle or USB dongle. And I forgot to mention, but let me mention it now. The phones to which this procedure can apply would be any VVX phone or, yeah, you need to do your homework, but any VVX phone which has a USB port. So for instance, the VVX 100, 200, 300, 400 series do not have a USB port. This is a VVX 500. It has a USB port right there on the back. Also, all the new line of VVXs, the, the 150, 250, 350, 450, etc., those all have this too. Okay, so I'm going to take this little guy and I'm going to plug him in here. Okay, once I plug it in, I see this message on the front. And it's like a little wizard going to walk me through what I need to do next. So I'm going to hit the start. And I'm going to change to the Wi-Fi to on. So hit Wi-Fi, check on. Okay, the phone will reboot. Okay, great. Hit yes. All right, let's wait for the phone to reboot. Okay, so now my phone has rebooted. Now this time, the wizard is a little bit different. It's saying that it sees that it's connected and it wants to start the Wi-Fi setup. So I'm going to do start. It's going to scan for available Wi-Fi networks. Pretty similar to what your laptop does or your cell phone does. Now I work in a building that's got several Wi-Fi networks, so I'm probably gonna have to scroll a little bit to find the one I want. Okay, this is the one I want right here, my Wi-Fi hotspot. Now I'm gonna put in the password. Okay, so entering the password, it gets a little tricky. If your password is just made up of letters and numbers, that shouldn't be too bad. You'll want to use that T9 style dialing. It's like the way we used to text back before we had smartphones. So for instance, my first letter is the letter F. So I'll take and find the letter F, which is on the three key. I'll need to hit it three times to get the letter F. And then I need the letter N. Okay, what gets more tricky though is when you get into things like special characters. Special characters are either going to be on the star, the pound, or the one. And you're just going to have to experiment a little bit to find out what is where. So I'm going to finish this up and then I'll come back to you. All right, I put in my password now. I'm going to hit connect. Hopefully I got the password in there correctly. It says connected. It shows it's got a Wi-Fi signal there. Now what I'm wanting to have next is for the phone to register. So notice how now I've got a phone with a little green checkbox next to it. So that means the phone is ready to go. So that's what it looks like when you are using the Wi-Fi and the phone is connected and you should see the Wi-Fi signal and you should also see the little green checkbox. All right, so I hope that helps you out. I'm sure it's going to be a lot more handy to be able to put phones in locations where you don't have network drops, save you the money of having to run those network wires. Thanks for watching.